Technical Institute. In today's video, we're going to be doing some air conditioning, component identification, uh, and slide inspection, just a visual inspection. We'll talk about the different um, things that these components do for our system and uh, how to, a quick on how to replace and stuff like that. Okay, so here we have an international um, tractor. It's got a um, Max Force motor, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so the first component that we're going to identify, I got this little pointer here to help me out, uh, is our compressor. Our compressor is right here. Uh, it's on, it's belt driven, and it's got a clutch here on the face of it. It's an electromagnetic clutch that uh, engages and disengages the compressor when uh, the when it has to get to the proper temperature, it will engage the compressor. When it's at the proper temperature, it will disengage the compressor. So from the compressor, our refrigerant comes out as high pressure um, vapors. Okay, and this is the line where it comes out from. This is the high side line. You follow it along and you can see all this corrosion in the line. It's time to replace this line. Um, but again, for the sake of the video, we're just doing component identification. We're not really doing a repair video on this. Uh, this is um, the high side. This is your high side service port. All right, you can tell it's a little bit slightly bigger uh, diameter. You would uh, undo this cap. You'd look into this uh, Schrader valve. Make sure it's not damaged. Uh, make sure it doesn't have any debris in it. Make sure that it has a cap on it. Always return the caps back onto the proper spot. Okay, so from uh, from the high side, it's going to across the very front of this vehicle, uh, and it's called the condenser. Okay, the condenser looks much like uh, almost like a radiator, just a little bit smaller, thinner. Okay, and um, as the freon's going across it, you know this vehicle would be riding down the highway, and the uh, cold air from the road would be blowing on it, and it's cooling. Uh, cooling the the refrigerant as it's going back and forth across those fins, uh, and it comes out as a uh, as a liquid, right? Because it's uh, it's uh, cooled back down, so it's returned to a liquid state. And uh, then it comes across this line right here, and this is um, at this point it's a uh, it's a low pressure line, right? And it comes just keeps coming across, and as it goes up this way. Uh, I don't know, it's a little bit hard to tell, I'll try to use my pointer here. Uh, but this little black part back here, uh, you can see where that low pressure line goes up and into this black canister there. That's our receiver dryer. Okay, and then it comes back out of that. Comes back out of it, comes down on this tube here from the dryer. And then it flows down and into our thermostatic expansion valve, the TXV. Okay, the TXV, what it's doing there is it's uh, slowing down our gas and uh, letting it go uh, slowly. Still same uh, same pressure, just releasing it a little slowly. And as it's where uh, where it's headed off to is uh, into the evaporator. Uh, that's the next part where where our coolant's going to be or our refrigerant is going to be headed to. But we got this uh we got this cap exposed a little bit you can see here uh this is the the blower motor housing okay it's got two little ducts on the side see this blue right here um that's uh that's the duct where it takes in it's got another one on the other side of it and that's where it's taking in the hot air from the cab okay so the ac is really just a big old heat exchanger what it's doing is it's taking the hot air from the cab and it's leading it all the way down and into uh, uh, to the condenser to get uh, cooled back off you know by the by the ambient temperature as it's driving down the road um, it goes across this blower motor uh, and in combination with the air that's coming in through the cabin air filter duct it gets blown across the evaporator which is behind the dashboard after it goes through the uh, through the evaporator, you know it's cold uh, liquid state. 
and as it's going through and across the evaporator and reaching the lower end of the evaporator, it starts heating back up so it'll start steaming back up, turns back into a vapor. And now that blower motor, like I said, is taking the hot air and at the same time it's bringing, it's blowing in cold air. Okay, so it's extracting the hot air and bringing in the cold air. Uh, and then it goes through the ducting behind the uh, behind the, uh, the dashboard here and uh, out the vents. Okay, um, that's kind of a, a brief thing. Uh, when when you're in here, some of the things that I guess you're going to want to check out is all these electrical connections. Make sure that they're all secure, plugged in place. Uh, sometimes the uh, the blender motor on these things can go out and it'll cause uh, air to come out of some vents but not all vents uh, you have to make sure you uh, do the quick visual inspection like I said those lines were really corroded it's probably time to replace those lines um, and yeah I guess that's been our component identification video Thanks for watching.